Yo, how's your butt? Boop. Yo, how's your butt today, guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how you can improve in Destiny 2's PvP with proper practice, actually applying practice, not just going around shooting stuff for fun, actually applying it and seeing where you can improve. Uh, there's two things that we're going to talk about today, which is A, playing Rumble, and B, Kovacs Aim Trainer. There's a lot of people that talk about Aim Trainers. There's a lot of people that talk about Kovacs, but today I'm going to talk about how you can actually apply that to improve your aim in situations like you just saw me lose right there. So first, we're going to talk about actually applying yourself in Rumble in Destiny 2. So this is what I do in Rumble. I'm actually trying to seek out primary gunfights, 1v1s to try to get better at winning those ones. Cuz a lot of people you're going to you're going to hear a lot whenever you're playing elimination, whenever you're playing comp is win your ones, win your ones. So that's what I'm actually trying to do. I'm using the same hand cannon every single Rumble match that I get into, which is this spare action, which is multi or actually it's it's actually rapid hit and range finder with full bore and light mag. So it's got good range on, it's got good reload, reload master work as well. So I'm looking for um, good reload, good range on this weapon. I don't really fuck, I know a lot of people really like to have kill clip on this gun. I prefer to have range and reload on it because uh, I don't see myself using kill clip all that often, especially whenever Trials comes around. Using it in Elimination, I don't believe it's going to be as important as getting range, because it's going to be a lot more passive playlist, playlist and Trials. So once again, what I'm doing, I'm seeking out 1v1s and trying to figure out my position to win these ones and also work on my primary shot. Um, trying to, you know, when I can disengage and engage in those 1v1s to keep on firing. Um, I, also in Rumble, I'm not really using my sniper that much. I'm really using it to protect heavy or try to get a chance to shut down supers. I really don't want people to try to use heavy in Rumble. You get way too much of it. And I think it's kind of a problem with the playlist right now. So I really use my sniper to shut down people that are trying to get heavy. Uh, if I do get heavy, I'll either waste it on the person that's right in front of me or I'll just dump it off the map with my grenade launcher. Because like in normal quick play, you only get three for this grenade launcher. In this one, you get four. Like you get more heavy in this than what you do in quick play, which I think is kind of annoying. Um, and you can really take over a rumble match just by getting, you know, one like magazine with LMG on it. Like you'll, you'll see these people that are have like 5.0 KDs in rumble and it's because they got a machine gun and got six kills with it. Um, so really just here trying to work on getting your primary shot down, getting your strafing down, no one to engage, when to disengage. Several times I'll stop shooting because I think I killed somebody and I could have just kept engaged or I got hurt by somebody shooting me from third person. Um, so really just trying to get all that down and practice that over and over again. Um, some other things that really I try to focus on a lot and not get myself worked up on is with SBMM being so strong in Rumble, um, I try not to get worried about lag, like try not to get tilted like, oh, that person's like, oh, that person's like, well, it's not something you can control, so there's no use in getting mad about it. All you can do is play a little bit more passive, don't try to get in melee fights, and don't try to get in shotgun fights with them, because more than likely if they're lagging or if you're lagging, it's probably going to come out better for the other person. So try not to let those stupid things like that bother you. So focusing on primary shot, not really necessarily crutching on your secondary, uh, just trying to win your ones, this is all it's going to be about. The next part I'm going to talk about is using Kovacs, and I actually stumbled across a, um, a guide for a guy made by the name of Aimer7, and he actually has a full list and most of it's based on like the more popular FPSs like Apex and Fortnite and even R6. But there is a complete guide for beginners, intermediate beginners, advanced beginners, um, intermediate and advanced with their own sub genres inside those as well. And it gives you guidelines on how to do it, what is, what is it doing it for. Um, some of it is based around tracking aim and some of it's race based around click aim. Which, like, most of what you're going to do in Destiny 2 is going to be click-based aim. Because ARs, as of right now, before the seasonal buffs coming next week, 
ARs really aren't that great, so most of your tracking aim is going to be for ARs. So really, most people use hand cannons, pulses, and snipers, so that's really what's going to help. Um, I know a lot of people get Kovacs and they get on Tile Frenzy a lot. That really doesn't help you that much unless you're using the Tile Frenzy strafing one, which I have two separate ones that I go through over here. Um, focusing on things like click timing, like one wall, one target, or one wall, six targets, is going to help you a lot more in Destiny 2 than what Tile Frenzy is. Tile Frenzy is, you know, fun and you can click a lot and you see a lot of targets get destroyed, but it's not going to help you a lot. So adding meaningful practice to Kovacs is going to help a lot too. Doing this for 30 minutes to an hour a day is going to help you a ton. Um, instead of just going in and clicking on Tile Frenzy and playing with that for a little while. Um, I'm going to leave his guide down below if you can check it out. I'm going to continually update. This is going to be kind of a mini series. Um, this is not to be um, like a super great PvP look at what I'm doing. It's to kind of help show people what I'm doing to get better at PvP myself because I am myself a PvE player and I would like to get better at PvP. So this is what this is for. If you guys like anything you see here please give me a like and subscribe i will be updating this to so you guys can kind of see how i'm improving and hopefully some people are improving too but i'll catch you guys on the next one later